Hi, welcome to the first part of this new video series, the Spur Gear Housing. I've already updated the PDF, the 2D PDF, because I've added here an essential dimension which I really need. That would be 193.94 for this height. So, first I want to create some planes. Let's say we start here with zero. So I need one which is six millimeter below, then one is 85 above, and then this one, and one which is six millimeter below this one. I want to create one on this side, on that side, and maybe two or three here. So one for that reference here, this one and that one, same on the other side. So here, there and this one. So let's have fun with a second program, Cartier V5. So let's create some planes. With an offset, yes. And let's draw a sketch on this plane. So I need one with a distance to the XY plane. And that should be 193.94 minus 6. 193.94. Point nine four minus six and another one at one nine three point nine four another one twelve millimeter below so let's go for minus twelve So this didn't work. Why? Let's take a look. It's minus 12. That's okay. But I didn't see it, so it's okay. Great. Now, one to the back, one to the front. So let's go for first for this one here. And that offset should be 85 divided by 2, so that's 42.5. And another one here at minus 42.5. And why can't I see those planes? Because of that switch. I forgot to switch it off. Now, here they are. So I might need two more planes. One with a distance of 274 divided by 2, 274 divided by 2, and another one at minus 137. And confirm and cancel this command out. Okay, great. Now let's rename them, or we can use just that offset here in the tree. And I think that would be okay. So the first sketch would be on the Y set plane. So go for a sketch, you can use a positioned one as well, doesn't really matter. Like this, and I hide as usual those yellow projected elements and I need a rectangle I could snap here but I won't and for this exercise I want to delete those constraints and now we can project those or we could just constrain them like that. It will be coincident 
and this one and that one should be coincident and this one and that right click coincident and then I need a circle with diameter 600 so let's see where we are that's the circle and diameter should be 600 And of course, this should be tangent to that plane here. Like that. Now I can trim. Now, there you go. This, that and this here and also that and that's my first sketch finish that sketch let's make an extrude with that sketch that's okay and go for more first should be up to plane and that would be to this plane and second should be up to plane as well. And that would be that plane. And confirm. Great. Now let's add a draft. Should be three degrees. Yes. And I want to draft those four faces and the neutral element would be of course that plane here this one preview looks good and confirm now let's add fillets 70 millimeter on this edge and that edge and confirm great and my first body is finished so in order to keep the part body empty i want to insert two more bodies and i want to change this body here with the part body okay So it's part body, body one, and now body three is in work. And I want to use that sketch again. So that sketch could be, of course, in that set here. So can I move it there? Change geometry set, and let's put it into the geometry set. And OK. Maybe close this one here and hide that first body. Show the sketch. And I want to make another extrude with the same sketch. Again, up to a plane. First, up to this plane. No, that's not that's wrong. I need two more planes. Of course I need two more planes. So let's make two more planes. And that distance should be one hundred and twenty five divided by two. I suppose let's check it out. Yes, should be. So, let's go for an offset. Yes, to the YZ plane. And first, that's 62.5. And another one at minus 62.5.
And now I can make the extrude with that sketch here. Should go up to that plane. And in the other direction, same up to that plane. Confirm. Let's add a draft. So those same four sides should be drafted. The neutral element would be the same plane as before. This plane here. Make a preview, looks good, and confirm. So let's add the 70 millimeter fillets. 70 millimeter, yes, on this edge here and that edge here, and confirm. And then I need a 20 millimeter fillet. 20 on this edge and that edge, and confirm. And I forgot to make a similar fillet on the first body, so let's make this the working object and height body 3. Let's go for a fillet, 5 millimeter on this edge here and that one. And confirm. Great. Now let's hide body 1. And go to body 4. And I need a sketch and two more planes. So let's go for another plane. Distance to that one. And this should be 125 divided by 2. And that's 62.5. That's OK. But first one should be the positive one. And then another one. Same base plane, but right now. It should be at minus 62.5 and confirm. Let's make a sketch on the YZ plane. I want to hide those as usual. And that would be a rectangle. And I don't want to use those horizontal and vertical constraints, so I will delete them. Now, that line should be coincident with that plane here, and this one with that plane. Distance should be 3 millimeter, and the distance from this plane to that one should be 43.5. Forty-three point five. Okay. Looks okay. Leave that sketch. Let's make an extrude with that sketch. And this should go up to this plane. And in the other direction up to that plane. And confirm. Then I need a rectangular or linear pattern. And I want to pattern the body if possible. So go for that pattern. I know. So I need six instances. The distance should be 33. Direction would be the y direction. I want to pattern this current solid, yes, and confirm. Now I want to, want to make an intersection between body 3 and body 4. So let's make it visible. Make it the object in work. And I want to make an intersection. 
between body four and body three and confirm great and this con this concludes the first part of the spur gear housing for a Katiwi 5 so i hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help and you could follow me also on grabcat where you would find those models and the drawings twitter facebook and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye